When you create a new document in SOLIDWORKS, whether it's a part file or assembly file or drawing file, you have to use a template file. The template is the file that stores the basic settings of the file. And when you create a new document, in this case a novice mode, you create a part or assembly a drawing, it uses the uh, default template that SOLIDWORKS provides. If you go to advanced, there are two tabs. There's a template and tutorial. So this is a template, default templates and tutorial templates, but essentially they're the same thing. So you're using this template, and as you can see here, it, it shows the location where the template file is, and it extension is .prtdot. So when you create a new part document, you're using the template and copies the settings from the template and create a new document. So here in the settings, like uh, options, if you go to option, and there's a document properties tab. These properties are coming from the template. So if you want to create your own template, you need to modify your temp, uh, settings here and then save this file, the part file, as a separate template. So it's the same thing for the drawings and assembly as well. So I'm going to show you just for the part. One of the most important thing you need to change is the uh, drafting standard. So this is when you create a dimension on your sketch, which standard will follow. So for us, we'll use NC standard. And even more important than that is the uh, unit. So here we have to set up inch unit, millimeter unit, or any other units. So let's say we'll say it's an inch unit. You can set decimal places, uh, accuracy, and everything in here if you want to. But I'll just, just take the default one for inch system, IPS system, and say OK. And now this document is set to NC standard and in inch, inch unit. So you can save it as a template. So after the document is customized, you'll need to save it as a template. So we'll go file, save as, or if you, you file, save as, and the save type as. Let me show you a peculiar behavior in, when, when you're saving a file in a particular location. I'm going to save it in the uh, network, over the network. And we'll create a new folder. And here we call it, let's say, my template. So you can use any name for this folder, but don't use template because that is used by SolidWorks. So I'll just name it my template. And you have to remember what the name is because the name is important. So you want to use the name that is meaningful. Uh, I'll just use my template, but that's not very meaningful. So if you have a uh, project that you're working on and you want to add uh, all the template that is used by that uh, project you might want to use that project name or something all right and then type you have to select this is a part template and there's a type part template dot prtdot uh, here's the thing if you first choose the folder and then uh, select the file type. So for some reason, it goes back to the original uh, template, uh, SolidWorks template folder. So so if you just write it on here, your uh, template will go into the default template locations. So you may not be able to find in your tab. So uh, you have to first select the type and then move to that folder. So I go, let's go to network. It's right here. And let's find that, my template. Say open. And when you save it, you have to add some meaningful name to the as a file name. Because uh, you, you're going to see the template file name. 
and you have to know what template it is so let's say this is a very simple one so I'll say NC inch uh, you can add something you can add your project name or uh, then everything in here so that you can recognize so I save it once you save it then the SOLIDWORKS has to know where to find the template so you go to options and on the list there is a file locations so if you click that and these are the default locations where the SOLIDWORKS find the template files so you need to add your own location so I'm gonna add and I'm gonna find that folder select folder now it's done and then OK now it'll ask whether you want to save that in the registry okay now next time when you create a new in the advanced mode you'll see that tab with the name of the folder you, cre you just created and then there's a 19 inch template we just created so this template uses the uh, same setting, ANSYS standard and inch unit.